just had a nice little week off in Nashville. So we're just cruising through, just kind of arrived in Kentucky. Super green, reminds me a lot of Nashville, but uh, the landscape out here is beautiful and not too far away from the actual Kentucky plant here in Georgetown. Assembly 2 at Toyota Kentucky, and I currently work with the RAV4 Hybrid. So before we actually got the RAV4 Hybrid in, we were just a sedan plant. Between the flexibility with the team members and versatility, we were able to accomplish what we have now. Being a part of the Toyota family, Makes me really proud being able to see the cars that we produce out on the roads, safely carrying our customers around. It was really cool to see, you know, the amount of teamwork going on in that plant and just seeing those bits and pieces of detail and how everything just goes together was, was really cool to see and fascinating for me. Here she is. Yeah, this is the one that we saw in the factory. Yeah. All right, sweet. She's all yours. Wow. Okay. All right, let's do it. All right. After checking out the plant, you know, Jenny was kind enough to give us a little tour of her hometown in Georgetown, and then after that, she took us out to this place called Old Friends Farm. This is where they actually have a sanctuary for the retired thoroughbred horses. Okay. Yeah. They've been a part of our community for 15 years now. Wow. Mm -hmm. This place is beautiful. So Old Friends Farm is essentially this really incredible place where these retired racehorses go uh, to kind of live out their last days and they're really well taken care of. And for me, I've always been you know, a huge animal lover and kind of grew up around horses as well. You know, getting able to just roam around there for a bit, uh, hang out with the horses, get to snap some photos of them and, and enjoy just all the greenery around there was uh, you know, made for a beautiful afternoon. Okay, so we just left the farm. Um, we're meeting up with a good buddy of mine, Jamie. He's gonna introduce me to his friends uh, that are gonna be climbing today. Good to see you, man. What's going on, hey, man? Hey, Josh. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The RAV4 is actually pretty sweet. A ton of space to throw gear in. Um, had plenty of room for my friends. It's a breath of fresh air having a little bit of a smaller vehicle compared to the Tundra, uh, but it's equally, you know, as quick. You can get off road. Way better gas mileage, you know, because of the hybrid. And all in all, I think it's a pretty sweet rig. I myself am not, you know, an experienced rock climber, but I do see a lot of similarities uh, between, you know, photography and, and climbing. I feel like it's problem solving for me. It's the trial and error. The pitches and the routes in there are, are so dynamic and uh, just takes a lot of experience to be able to climb stuff like that. So, you know, automatically stepping in there, I feel like I'm, I'm humbled. Kind of my first time experiencing something like this. Kind of crazy just having your gear latched to you and uh, you know safety first, but it's been cool seeing that different vantage point. This trip was was special for sure. Um, I think looking back, just going from place to place and understanding. Um, that it's the journey in itself in which you know I'm enjoying and learning along the way and meeting new people, seeing new places was uh, was big for me and 
you know, it's never over. There's always something going on in the future. And, you know, my grandpa taught me growing up, he'd always tell me, you know, down the road. And I think that it's, it's a positive message, you know, knowing that there's always something ahead and I can't, you know, wait to see what that is.